shaken and stirred, okay? I don't know even what I, I'm still processing. Hey guys, it's Haley and welcome to another bookish video. So today I'm going to be doing a reading vlog for probably the most hyped thriller of all time. Maybe that's Gone Girl, I don't know, but uh, this is definitely in the running. We have Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinborough and I'm horrified for this. I'm so excited, but I'm also terrified because what if I hate it? And I'm like the thriller queen and this is the most hyped thriller, like I'm gonna feel bad. But basically, if you don't know what this is about, a woman hooks up with a guy and then starts a new job and realizes that that guy is her boss. And not only that, he's married. Ah. So the way I'm going to be doing this reading vlog is predicting it as I go along. Obviously, I haven't read any of it so far. So my initial prediction is going to be pretty vague. But as I go along the book, I'll predict things and we'll see if I'm right. So my initial prediction for this book is that this man's not going to be who she thinks he is. Or he didn't meet her like clandestinely you know what I mean like this is a sketchy man he met her on purpose and he hired her for this job on purpose because him and his wife like want to kidnap her or something like I don't think that they just by chance ran into each other I think this dude has more issues that she doesn't know about and you know she was sought out also I just realized through that whole clip the lighting was horrible and this lighting is so much better I apologize but yes Official first prediction for this book. The man is not who he says he is. Him and his wife set up the meeting, set up them hooking up, then set up the hiring her, and they like want to kidnap her or something. They're connected to her in some way. This was not clandestine, okay? This was not a coincidence. It's never a coincidence in a thriller unless it's a bad thriller. So I will start reading this book and I will let you know. My quiche is ready. So I will start reading this book and I will let you know what I think and update you on if my prediction is correct. Obviously, this is going to be riddled with spoilers because I'm going to be actually telling you what happened. So if you haven't read this book, come back and watch it after you have. It is such a dreary, rainy day outside. I don't know if you can see. It's not raining that hard anymore, but it is the perfect day to read this book. I'm so excited to start reading. Also, look at my little reading partner. Hi, Boba. Hi. This is Boba. If you don't know my dogs, I have two chihuahuas. This one has four legs. My other one has three. <laughs> Um, but she has more issues than Vogue, apparently. She looks very adorable in her shirt. Uh, once it gets to fall time, they need clothes or they shiver like little leaves in the wind. So yeah, very excited to read on this dreary day with my little puppy. Oh my goodness. I don't even know where her brother is. He is hiding under the covers 100% of the time. So that's probably where he is. Yeah, you see that lump? That would be mochi. Have a nice nap. Hey guys, good morning. It is the next day and it is update time. So I actually planned on updating y'all yesterday, but then my friend came over after my class and she's been in Alaska for the past three months. So I just kind of wanted to catch up with her, <laughs> split a fat bottle of wine and, um, not read a book but i did actually get about 60 pages into behind her eyes i feel like my prediction was correct first of all i just have to say if i did that without reading one singular page of this book i'm going to be like just crown me the thriller queen like i'm ready for my title you know but yeah the so i didn't know that we actually get the perspective of the man's wife as well as like our main character and i feel like there's something suspicious going on like i don't really know what it is but she's walking on eggshells around him she for some reason like buried their cat so like 
the cat died for some reason. Pretty sure that dude like murked the cat. Good. Um, yeah, there's definitely something going on. And the wife sought out this new employee of her husband uh, and like is friends with her. And it just, it doesn't seem like that was by coincidence, okay? None of this is by coincidence. I was correct, I'm calling it now. My prediction is this girl was chosen for some reason and this couple is crazy and they're gonna do something to her because the man already just seems unstable and odd and the wife just seems like she's gonna do anything to like please him because she's like saying all the stuff like she's desperate for him to love her again like is it what is it is it that she's ugly like she tries to be the perfect wife it can't be that like all this stuff and she like goes on and on about it but yeah i don't know how i feel about it so far i don't really think any of these characters are likable which i'm conflicted about because i like reading thrillers about all like when all the people are bad because I think that's very true to life like everyone's very flawed and I like when that is like portrayed in a thriller but I also get more invested into a thriller when I have someone to root for and even our main character I just don't really like her that much <laughs> like she's a very sympathetic character and I do feel for her but Sometimes just the way she talks about like sexuality and her friends, I'm like, girl, why are you shaming your friend? Like, let her do whatever she wants. Let her go hook up with married men. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, why are you judging her? I don't know. That just like made me a little like, I don't want to hang out with you, judgy. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know how I feel about it, but I do think my prediction is correct so far and I don't have any update on my prediction, I'm gonna stick to it. And I think that that is what it is. So I'm gonna just go about the rest of my day and I will update you when I read some more. It's also just like the gloomiest day ever today. It's perfect for reading a thriller, literally flawless. I'm looking at Mochi right now. He's like over here on the couch and he literally can't keep his eyes open. He's like. You know, like when a kid is falling asleep in the car, like that's what he's doing on the couch. I'm gonna try to get a clip of it so y'all can see this adorableness, but it's just like sleeping puppies during a thunderstorm. And I have my pumpkin spice candle burning. Like everything is amazing right now. I just wanna lay down on the couch and read a thriller, but I have class to do, so. Gotta read five chapters in a textbook first. When I put the camera on you, you wake up and you start to perform. King, but you were so sleepy like two seconds ago. So, king of scamming me. Also, I was talking about this candle in my update earlier. I got it at Marshall's, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, you know, one of those. If you see this brand, DW Home, there get it this is literally a fat candle like it's huge and it was $6.99 and I've it's literally been lit for maybe like 20 minutes my entire apartment smells like pumpkin spice it is permeating and it smells so good highly recommend it okay I made it to part two I really like this book. It's getting so much better. This is like the domestic thriller that I was looking for and I have a slight alteration to my prediction. The man is not the one who's manipulating the situation. It's definitely the wife, which obviously that hasn't been revealed, but she just seems too manipulative. And like she knows things and like maybe she's being abused and she wants to like pass her husband off to this like other girl. So she like, targeted her I don't know that's my prediction that the wife is like orchestrating this whole situation but yeah it's really good and I'm really enjoying it and I'm gonna go back to reading now goodbye hello guys I know this is the worst you've ever seen me <laughs> the lighting the hair like everything is just 
not on 100 right now but there is a horrific storm happening and my power is out and i literally have a flashlight propped up back there so you can like kind of see me uh, <laughs> But I wanted to update you about behind her eyes because I got halfway through and I still think my prediction's right. I know this wife. I know. I know this bitch is trying to like match up this girl, this unsuspecting secretary and her husband so she can get away from him because he seems like creepy and controlling. And I just know I was right about that. I knew. I knew this girl was chosen. Nothing is a coincidence. Uh, that hasn't been revealed, but I'm just very confident in that. Also, new prediction. The husband, back in the day, set the fire that killed the wife's parents. So he could, like, have control of her forever. And that's why she's trying to escape. Because she's like, oh my god, this dude killed my mother and father. So I think that would be, like, good enough motivation. Um, oh my god, scary lightning. Um... But yeah, that is my new prediction. I just wanted it on the record before I keep reading. Even though this clip is a disaster. Goodbye. Okay, update. The power is back on. Woohoo! <laughs> it is still storming like crazy and I still just look like this. Also, there's just a towel back there from when I had to clean my wet dogs off <laughs> after I walked them. They literally got soaked. Even though they were wearing their rain jackets, they still just got completely soaked by the rain. It is wild right now, but it is a perfect reading day, so love it. I just got to part three in Behind Her Eyes, and I don't even know what to think anymore. I still have 100 pages left, and I don't know who to trust. I don't know what is going on, my prediction still holds that this was all contrived by the wife. But now I think the wife is not even being abused. Like, now I think she's just crazy. And maybe she was the one that killed her parents in the fire. Maybe she was the one who killed the cat. Like, maybe it's her. I'm going to go with that. Okay, a new official prediction. The wife is orchestrating all of this. She's not being abused by her husband. Her husband's just like... A cheater and like a bad guy but he's not like hurting her or anything and um she's probably killed her parents and the cat i'll let you know if i'm correct this book is getting so much better with every page like i like this book a lot more than i thought i would and i'm happy okay Things are getting wild. Um, I'm, I have 50 pages left, so I'm almost done. And I just feel like, I know I'm right. I know the wife is manipulating the situation, but the big reveal at the end is not gonna be that simple. Like people freak out at this ending. It cannot be that simple. So I think it has to do with the astral projecting that she was like manipulating the main girl to like do and she obviously does it all the time. <sighs> maybe she's like gonna kill her while she's astral projecting or maybe the other way around. Maybe the wife will kill the main girl or the main girl will kill the wife but like nobody will be able to know or like catch her because she's doing it while she's astral projecting so it like appears that she's asleep when she's actually committing a murder i feel like it's gonna have something to do with that but i don't know this is getting really good and it's really sucking me in so i'm sure i'm gonna finish this soon and when i do i will tell you if i was right and i'll see you then I don't, I don't, I, I haven't processed, um, what just happened here. I finished this book probably about an hour ago and I've been trying to process, um, 
I'm speechless. And this does not happen often, okay? I am not often speechless, but today I am speechless. This book, the, this ending, this, it makes you look at everything in a whole other different way. So basically, I was right. The wife, we'll get to that, um, was manipulating the whole situation and did end up killing Louise, our main character, while she was astral projecting. So I was right, but that was just like the what I, I what. I feel like that was something that, that I mean, I predicted it. it. It was easily predictable. I saw it coming. But then the end end, like I thought that was going to be the big twist. And I was like, mm -hmm, got you, clocked you. Um, no. The end end really just shakes you into oblivion. So how the wife killed our main character was she threatened to kill herself. The main character came running. They both astral projected. Whenever Louise, our main character, astral projected, the wife hopped into her body and let Louise hop into her body, who was dying of an overdose in a burning house because she was trying to kill herself, even though the plan the whole time was to kill Louise during astral projection. So, kind of saw that coming, got that right. Didn't see the switching bodies thing, that was kind of cool, but I didn't know how, you know, the wife would kill Louise or Louise would kill the wife um, during an astral projection because they can't like hold on to like a knife or a gun, like they can't, you know, so, that was really clever and I really liked that. And I was like, damn, you know, I was kind of right, but there were some things I didn't catch on to. The body switching was cool, really enjoyed that. I'm reading along and I'm thinking, okay, so the wife's soul is now in Luis's body. So the wife gets to live on, but the husband thinks that he's with Louise and like running away with his lover and his crazy wife is dead. Little does he know his crazy wife is still there in his new lover's body. Crazy ending, wow, shocking. And then I keep reading and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. We're just gonna ignore like the man that, that the wife supposedly murdered. Like we're just gonna not, we're just gonna gloss over that. Like nobody's gonna go to jail for that. Like. Mm, okay, seems fake to me. I see a plot hole. Mm -hmm. Well, the final chapter was from the perspective of the man who was supposedly dead. And let me tell you, I did not see that coming. And you know why he can have a perspective? Because he's not dead. No, 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 no. No, he's not. Um... The wife the whole time was not actually the wife. It was the dead man who actually switched bodies with the wife and killed the wife in his body. Who thinks of this? Sarah Pinro, how did you think of this? Oh my, I, it changes the whole story. It, at first I was like, okay, I'm kind of glad the crazy bitch wife is still alive. Like, that's kind of fun. I kind of like that ending. But then it's not the crazy bitch wife. And was the wife ever even a crazy bitch? Maybe she was just a normal girl. And then when she got her body switched, everyone thought she was crazy when really it was the boy who was taking over her body who was crazy. And now he's the one alive and both of these women are dead and it's just like men literally suck and men are literally the worst and they'll kill all women and take over our bodies and our lives and that's why we should rise up and revolt in this essay i will i think i'm gonna rate this a 4.5 i want to give it a five star for the ending alone but there were parts in the middle that dragged and I cannot forgive that. I need my thrillers to enthrall me 100% and I wasn't fully invested from the beginning and I need a thriller to suck me in from the beginning. Very rare for a, a domestic thriller to keep you involved the whole time because there are gonna be some parts that are just like drama, people talking, you know, because it's domestic. It's not something wild going on. I mean, it is wild, but it's like in a domestic setting. So yeah, that did drag a little bit, um, but the end, like 
I mean, I have to give it at least a 4.5 for the end. So all in all, really great read. I'm still processing what's going on and I highly recommend this book be made into a movie. I think this would shake and stir the whole world if this was a movie because non-readers need to experience this story too. And thanks so much for staying through and watching this spoiler vlog. I love doing these predicting twists kind of videos and I hope that y'all like it too. Leave me a comment down below if there's another book you wanna see this type of video with. And that's gonna be it for today, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.